this concert introduction for the New European Ensemble's live stream concert number 12. I'll be joined in this concert by Pepe in a program for viola and percussion. The first piece on the program is by Krzysztof Penderecki. It's his cadenza for viola solo. Penderecki, who passed away recently, is probably most well known for music that he wrote that was used in films like The Shining and Shutter Island. Penderecki spent most of his life in Poland, in Krakow. He passed away on March 29th this year, and our ensemble were probably among the last musicians to perform his music while he was still alive. Penderecki's cadenza was written in 1984 for his friend the Russian violist Grigory Shishlin, who had performed three concertos by Penderecki with orchestra. The piece is dark, brooding, and has a driving middle section. The whole piece is built up around this little theme, this little motivic cell. <laughs> section that goes something like this. So the next piece on the program is called Cinderella by Maika Nas. Like both of us, she's a graduate of the Royal Conservatory in The Hague and she's been composer laureate for the Netherlands and her pieces have been performed by a really impressive array of orchestras and ensembles all over the world. So what can you tell us about Cinderella? Well Cinderella was written for a percussionist for the Tron International Percussion Competition. This piece proves that how wide and diverse is our percussion repertoire. That someone writes a piece for a pair of high heels. The piece is just a little dance that I had to perform on the floor or on top of a table or a wooden platform. We just amplified the, the high heels and, and that's it. The next piece on the program is the Elegy for Viola Solo by Igor Stravinsky who is one of the great composers of the modern era. Around 1939, he moved to the United States, escaped Europe, which was at that time on the brink of war, and he lived in a circle of highly influential European exiles in Los Angeles. People like Thomas Mann, the author, George Balanchine, the choreographer. Stravinsky met poets like Dylan Thomas. The Elegy is from 1944, and it was written in memory of Alphonse Onu, who was the first violinist of the Pro Arte Quartet, a Belgian quartet that had worked with Stravinsky on his compositions. Stravinsky's elegy shows a masterful use of multiple voices on the viola. The elegy was choreographed by George Balanchine in one of his most wonderful and celebrated dance pieces. Balanchine made classical ballet a modern art, beginning in 1928 with Apollo. Probably, you know, this music to play during Jagler's time, but during Jagler, yeah. Apollo was impossible. <laughs> they laughed at it. How? My God, what? You know, they couldn't calculate what awful, you know? And prodigal son of all the, all the stuff was typical. <laughs> now, people whistle on the street, you know? Not always in the street. No. Maybe in the bathroom. No. So the next piece we're going to play is Michael Colgrass's variations for four drums and viola. Michael Colgrass was an American composer. He started his career as a jazz musician in Chicago and became pretty active on New York's thriving contemporary music scene. He premiered works by John Cage, Elliot Carter, Edgar Varese as a percussionist. And the piece we're going to play, the variations, was composed for his friend the violist Emmanuel Bardi in 1957. The two of them premiered the piece at New York's Five Spot Cafe in the East Village. And the piece is full of influences from jazz, but also African music, as well as composers like Stravinsky. On the evening of the premiere at the Five Spot, John Coltrane and Thelonious Monk played a set in the same cafe. Colgrass had an instrument specifically built for his music and for this piece, which was the rototon, 
which you see here next to me, and the drums are pitched in a way that they create a kind of second melodic voice to the viola. <laughs> goes through a whole set of variations in different moods and it's based on this theme one of the variations sounds like this So the last piece on the program is something that you arranged, traditional Mexican music. This piece is uh, called Jarocho. It actually is uh, an arrangement of a uh, song Jarocho that is called El Cascabel. The song Jarocho is a type of music that has very three types of influences, which is the indigenous music, then the Spanish music, and then the African music with all the slaves that came. So when you hear all this Jarocho music playing on the street, you, re you can really hear this. There is one particular instrument that is used. It is a donkey jaw. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy the concert. Please subscribe and stay up to date with what's going on with the new European Ensemble.